Hey guys, uh, another week, another game dev vlog. Now, as you probably noticed, and I also mentioned it on Twitter, I skipped last week's video uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, one of the biggest ones being that I hadn't really gotten much done since the previous one, and also I was doing a lot of thinking that day, uh, trying to figure out some things, um, rethinking some stuff to do with my current plans and all that. So. As you've seen in my past couple videos, they've all been about trying to figure out all this stuff. And there were actually a couple of changes that were made over this week. Um, well, first of all, you may have noticed as well that my branding has changed. So if you see my channel icon, it looks a little different. Um, also, if you're following me on Twitter, you'll notice that I tweeted out about a change of my site. So I basically, I reworked all that stuff, simplified it. My old website was a WordPress blog, and I kind of stopped posting on there, other than posting these videos, because these kinds of the place of what I was going to be doing with my blog. So I decided to just scrap that, do a new design that's really simple, it just kind of demonstrates showing my uh, current games and other projects, and I think it works a lot better for what I need right now so I yeah I reworked all that stuff I actually uh, the site and all the branding change went live yesterday so um, yeah anyway enough about that I also did a couple other things um, we actually decided to change a couple things in the plan with blockworks uh, we decided to officially pause development until we can get some things in order uh, especially financially, once we can actually afford to take the time to work on Blockworks and get it to a point where it's self-sustaining, and also once we have enough knowledge to get it to that point. So we decided to just pause on that and go back to the old idea of working on Rotate primarily, and that of course brings you to the next thing. With Rotate, I'm getting back into the design and development of Rotate, and um, I've redesigned a few things changed the art style a bit to something that's a little easier for me to make, something I have been more experience with. It was going to be a kind of crisp, clean uh, vector art style. Um, I can show you some concept art later on, what I mean. I'm not sure I'm ready to show anything just yet. Well, last night I did release a little gif of the connected tile system, um, but other than that, I'm not sure I'm ready to show anything uh, any details about the game because I'm not quite certain about how some of well how much of it will stay, how much will change in the future. So I'll sh I'll show some of that in the coming weeks. Um, also, I might start doing something that I've talked about doing a little bit, um, actually recording some stuff throughout the weeks that into these vlogs. That's gonna completely change how these uh, go, but uh, it should be an interesting thing to at least experiment with. I might try it next week. Um, we'll see. So anyway, now that I'm working on rotate again. Uh, I'm starting back into development, uh, this time with the newest version of the Frost Engine, because the original version of rotate was on the very original version of the Frost Engine. But yeah, this week is going to be largely about focusing as much time as I can afford to on rotate, getting that, well, getting as much work done as I can this week. So I'd like to get, uh, like, the entirety of the world render system, uh, up to par. It's actually getting pretty close already, uh, but there's still more to do. And I'd also like to get as much of the physics in as possible this week. Now, um, when I was talking about Rotate, um, geez, when I first started uh, talking about it, uh, I did have some primitive like physics systems and such that were working all right, but they didn't have all the functionality I need. They couldn't support like ramps or stairs. Um, but in the new version, I'm going to be trying to support all that because I'd really like to have those in the game. Um, but other than that, like I just want to focus on the simple stuff of like physics and such this week. Um, I'll do more concept art and design stuff. And uh, oh, also another thing, I came with a really good storyline for the game. Uh, something that's really interesting, that's for sure, and quite unique too. Um, well, it plays on some concepts that I've seen before, but in a totally different way. So, because beforehand I was kind of struggling with coming out with a full story and making it unique especially. So, um, but the new one, it's very, very interesting. So, yeah, over these coming weeks I'll be able to reveal a bit more about the game and all the work I'm doing on it, but for now I think that is going to be it. 
So yeah, um, I have I hope to have a lot more to report on next week. Oh, and also, um, well, me and Alex, also known as Kintaya, uh, we're also working on something a little bit different that you'll see in a few weeks. I'm again not going to really talk about it too much until it comes out. It's just yeah, it's something a little different than uh, anybody's seen of our work. So anyway. I think this is going to be it for today, so if you enjoyed the video, maybe learned something, uh, be sure to leave a like, maybe a comment, and definitely subscribe for more content from me in the near future. So yeah, I'll see you around. Goodbye.